Project Triple was released back in 2017 along with Android Oreo. It is certainly one of the most significant low-level change in the OS. The idea behind the new re-architecture is to separate Android framework from the vendor implementation, thus enabling faster software updates for supported devices. It is also the reason why several OEM devices became the first non-Google phone to receive Android Pie developer preview. And if your device also supports Project Treble officially or unofficially, then you can also try latest Android Pie on your Android devices. But before we get started to the actual process, the very first thing that you should keep in mind that the process is little bit different from installing a custom ROM. So I would suggest you to follow the steps as shown in the video and don't skip any step. So, in this video, I'll be showing a step-by-step -step guide to install Android 9.0 Pi on any Treble-enabled Android device. Excited? So let's get started. The prerequisites are First, your Android device should have official or unofficial Treble support. If you are not sure that your device supports Treble or not, then you can use this Treble Check app to confirm that. Second, you should have unlocked bootloader with a custom recovery installed like TWRP. If you don't know how to install a TWRP recovery, then I have made a separate video on that using which you can easily install TWRP recovery. I'll be linking that video in the description down below, so do check out. Third, make a full backup of your device since you have to fully wipe your internal storage. Fourth, your battery should be at least 60% charged. As of now, these are the officially supported devices. There are also some devices that are unofficially supported. I will keep updating the list of the supported devices in the description down below. So if your device is in the list, then you're good to go. Next step is to find what's your device partition. Now basically there are two types of device partition in Android system. One is A only and another is AB partition. Now I don't want to go in depth regarding how they are different. But in order to install Android Pi on your Android device, you must know your device partition. So to check your partition, download an app called Terminal Emulator for Android and type this command. If this will return true, the device supports dual partition which is AB partition. If not, it means your device has A only partitions. The next step is to download the required files and these are the files that you will be needing. First, Android Pi generic system image file according to your partition, meaning if your device supports A only partition then download A only GSI file and the same goes for AB partition. Second, post GSI 1, 2 and 3 zip files. Third, Moki ROM zip file, which we will be using as a base ROM as it has full treble support built in and Moki ROM supports most of the devices that supports project treble. Fourth, Google Play Services APK to fix GApps after the device boots up. Now let's begin the actual procedure of ROM installation. Power off your device and boot your device into TWRP recovery by using the specific combination which includes power and volume buttons. Once you have successfully booted into TWRP recovery, click on wipe then format data. Now type yes to format the data. Now at this point, if you haven't backed up your data then it will be erased. So it's better to make a full backup. Once done, go back and reboot your device to recovery. Now connect your device to PC via USB cable and transfer only the Moki ROM to the internal storage of your device. Once done, click on install and flash the Moki ROM zip file. It will take like 2 to 3 minutes to flash the ROM. After that is done, reboot your device. Here we are installing Moki ROM as a base ROM as it has built in Project Treble support. Now go through the initial setup. Once you boot to the home screen of Moki ROM, now again boot your device into TWRP recovery and transfer the remaining files that is Android Pi GSI image, Post GSI 1, 2, 3 and Google Play Services APK file. Make sure you have extracted the Android Pi GSI image from the zip file. Once all the files are transferred, click on wipe and swipe this blue button to right in order to wipe the system partitions. Now go back and click on mount and select vendor. Once done, again go back and click install then select install image and navigate the android pi gsi file and select it. Now click on system image and swipe this blue button to right. It will take only 2 minutes to flash the gsi file. Once that is done, go back and again click on install and flash the post gsi files in order. Meaning, first you have to flash post GSI 1, then post GSI 2 and the 3. Make sure to flash post GSI files in order, otherwise your device may get bricked. So now you are almost done. Just reboot your device and it will take around 5 minutes to boot your device. So there you have it guys. 
I have tried my best to make this guide as simple as I can so anyone with no past experience of flashing ROMs can follow this method to install Android Pie on any treble enabled devices. I have been using Android Pie on my OnePlus 5 from last 2 days and I am really impressed with the stability. Everything is working just fine, I didn't face any issue or bug whatsoever. If you followed everything accordingly then you should have the latest Android Pie on your device in all its glory. Once you boot up into the system, set everything up, avoid any force closes or error message and proceed to install Play Services and Camera APK to make the ROM a daily driver. If you had any issue regarding the procedure, hit us down in the comments down below, I'd be glad to assist you. So that's it for this video, I hope you guys liked it and if you do then do consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any future videos from Extreme Droid. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.